Hello and welcome to another episode of Form Check Friday. So on today's episode, how to planche press for beginners, some tips and advice for anyone learning the planche press, even if you're more intermediate to advanced. We're gonna give you some tips and technique tips to help learn the planche press, as well as some other skills like muscle ups, front lever. So let's get straight into it. Well, here on the Jack Cast Tennis Discord, we've got Zdenda up first, and he's doing this wide planche press to handstand on the floor with this kind of supinated to neutral grip. And I wanna talk about that for a second because this grip is gonna make it easier to balance in the handstand on the floor, but when you press up to the handstand, any kind of overbalance forward is gonna be a little bit trickier to kind of press backwards because you have less leverage at the front of the hand here. So I want, want to mention that in case uh, you do use this grip, that's something to mention. So when you do press up to the handstand with a bit of momentum, keep that in mind. So he presses into the handstand here or leans forward into the handstand and he gets into this position. And actually, let me play the whole clip through so you can see he presses up into the handstand and then sort of loses balance, the clip ends there. So let's play it from the start again. So see here, he leans forward into the planche, we'll pause it here. And in the planche, his feet are a little low. That's the first thing to mention. His hips and shoulders are in decent position, but I would like to see a little bit more lower body engagement. So uh, a little bit more glute activation to start. Um, before entering the press, but I think the thing here is uh, this guy's really strong in planche I think he's just thinking more about getting the press done But yeah get in a good position for the planche as well and uh, potentially that will even help with the press um, by already having uh, more glute activation and more lower body engagement um, But everything up top is looking good the head position the protraction the arm position and the hand position. All of that is looking good. So just a little bit more focus on the lower body before the press. And then if we uh, look at the actual press, you'll see here to enter the press, you see this little nudge forward. So generally when people get into the press, they do a little micro lean forward. And I don't think this is anything they're actively thinking about. They do this micro lean forward, they're pressing harder into the floor and lifting the heels and legs up. You get a little bit more lower back engagement and then you press up into the handstand. So do you see this kind of micro lean forward? So here, here's his planche and then he does this micro lean forward and presses the legs up at the same time while applying more pressure into the floor and actually pressing the body up. So just a micro lean forward, press up and um, obviously trying to raise from the heels and you get a little bit of lower um, back activation as well. So uh, he presses up into the handstand and like I said, the, the balance in the handstand is quite tricky in this grip because if you overbalance or even kind of go more to the side, it's gonna be hard to kind of correct that and that kind of what happens. So one thing I'll mention uh, for you Zendenda is, uh, or Zendenda, however you say it, is to kind of focus a little bit more on the lower body engagement right before the press. Just get it, uh, you know, a bit more activated right before, and I think that will help. Um, think about the lower body and you'll help with your balance. Um, but overall, you're crazy strong at it in planche. I'm gonna give you confetti, man, because uh, this was great. Um, I wanna go on to someone else as well that did a planche press because it will be interesting to kind of uh, look at both. So we're gonna go to uh, Remo, man. Uh, I really like Remo, so he's a kind of guy that's always on the Jack Huston. It's Discord. If you need help, me and him think the same way I think about training. A lot of the stuff he just says, I generally agree with. I feel like we think the same way generally about training. And I just want to show you his press because I thought it was a really good press. So uh, let's play the clip again. So here he's in his planche press. Let's pause it in the planche and you can see the kind of overall activation. The same things up top. So we got the good uh, straight arm activation, wrist position, and protraction up top. Thinking about all that, but he's also thinking about the lower body, the glute engagement, the pelvis position, um, the literally having the feet touching. One thing I want to mention with Zedenda, if we go back to the clip, is that he brings the legs uh, further apart as he presses up. And you know, this is gonna be really hard because he's doing it on floor, he's doing it wide, he's also doing it on a foamy pad thing that makes it hard to balance. This is incredibly hard, I, I wanna mention. He, he brings the leg apart, and again, this is to help with the balance because you know, any kind of overbalance is hard to correct in this grip. So, you know, um, I wouldn't be surprised if he did it on key bars, if it would be way easier, if this was way cleaner, because this is a super hard skill to do on the floor. But with Remo, he's doing it on bars, but still the lower body activation is there. We'll see this little micro lean forward. You see here, that little micro lean forward. 
and then he's lifting with the heels. You're getting a little bit of lower uh, back engagement, but you're keeping the same pelvis position, same core position, and then you're pressing up. And from here, I would tuck the head in, because for me, I struggle a lot with the planche press, and what has helped me is tucking the head in. So my friend Nal and the Barkagi actually has mentioned this. Uh, they're both really good at pressing, but my mate Nal, who always tells me, you know, when, once you get here, and you've pressed like almost halfway up and you've got your heels up, tuck your head through. That's gonna allow your body to just rotate, follow your head and then get into the planche press. So another tip for you, a lot of people call this different things, you know, head trajectory, dolphin diving, whatever you call it from about here or even a little bit higher, I would go here. You can start tucking your head through and looking sort of backwards a little bit and this will help uh, your kind of body come over and follow your head. You'll kind of rotate like this and get into that handstand. Either way, uh, some people don't need to do that, but I find it helps if you're you know, stuck with it um, like I was. So uh, he comes back down and a big thing about coming down in the negative, you know, you're trying to regain that scapular protraction because when you've gone into the handstand, obviously you're kind of neutral. You need to rotate those shoulder blades back and kind of bring them back in front. Um, so when you come down, remember when you guys do negatives, and I know a lot of you guys will be doing negatives, um, lean forward. You'll see Remo, when he comes down, he'll be leaning forward. He doesn't just bring the legs down. He leans forward and the legs drop as well. It's a big thing. It's a small difference, leaning and just bringing the legs down compared to just dropping the legs down, but it's big. This is what's really gonna give you um, the control you need. So when you come down, lean forward. You see how his head inches slowly forward and then here, and then he drops, holds. So hopefully this has helped you guys that are learning the planche press. Remember, you know, if you're really a beginner, you can work on the tuck and the progressions. And also I'd advise you guys, watch the Barkage's video. I think it's like the best exercises to prove your planche press. I think that's it. Watch that video. It's a great video that will help explain how to learn the planche press. I know some of you would have watched it already, but hopefully the tips in this video would have helped you as well. So on to the next form check. Okay, so next up we have Lutzi. And funny enough, he goes to my gym. He's doing a handstand. So we're just going to check this through. So I'm going to pause it here actually and just look at the alignment. So first up from the hands to the shoulders or the wrist to the shoulders, what you can see it's a slight diagonal line. So what I want to see is a little bit more upper back engagement. Pull with the upper back muscles to bring those shoulders and arms back so you're planching less and more in a handstand. Exercise that's really going to help you with this is that uh, stomach to all handstand. Really drill those before you do these attempts. That's going to help as well. The other thing is a little bit of like bowing from the body or bananaing because the feet and oh, I don't know what's going on there, but <laughs> the feet and the uh, shoulders are relatively in line. But um, as you can see, the body's bananaing. So you're able to balance, but you haven't got that really nice core engagement. So I want you to work on that against the wall, work on this lower body core engagement and pelvis position. You should really be squeezing your core. And I think that's really coming from this foundation where you're maybe not getting the best um, mobility and upper back activity. Okay, next up we've got my Les Guiz or, or, or something like that. I can't remember, but we're moving on. So he's doing muscle ups. Um, so we're going to check the form of the muscle ups. There's slight bending at the knees here, so slight bit of kipping. Let's see if there's any chicken wing. But no, these are looking pretty good. Um, yeah, the only thing is the slight bit of kip. So if you see here, the knees are coming up a little bit. Right there, you can see the little bend in the knees as you come up to give you a little bit more momentum and get above the bar. Then you press up, you come down under control, you get this little bounce and you bounce it back. But the first rep is always the hardest because you don't have that momentum to carry you through. So we're just gonna look at that one really. And yeah, you, you, can, you can see the kip there. Just over time, I, I feel like with the muscle up, you just need to keep doing it. Over time, you need to be stricter with yourself. So either put a box in front of you or something to make sure you're not crazily swinging. That's one method people like to use. Or how I did it was I was just strict with myself. I was just like, okay, this rep, I'm going to kip less. I'm just not going to bring my knees like up in line with my hips. I'm going to bring them like 45 degrees. I'm, if I don't get it, I don't get it. You need to be prepared to fail when you're being stricter with your form with a muscle up because you might not get it. So what I want to say here is when you come down, I want you to come down with a bit more intention. And what I mean by that is when you come down is really try and come down slow and controlled, but with a bit more pace because the longer you spend in that negative coming down, the less energy you'll 
have to press up. So I don't mean rush it, I just mean come down with a bit of intention, like, okay, I know where I need to be at the bottom, I'm gonna get there under control and then press up with all I've got, but keeping under control, not going too fast so you lose balance. So I think the main thing here is you're trying to maintain balance because you can see how much your wrist is kind of flickering back and forth. But yeah, I think you spend so much time coming down under control, um, that it makes your press even harder. And But of course, this is a really good kind of one of your first few attempts. I would really drill negatives of, as one of the second exercises after you do these attempts, because you're gonna get really good at coming down with control to where you wanna be, hold it for a second, then come down. Over time, you're gonna get used to that and you're gonna, when you go for your attempt, you're gonna know exactly where you wanna be, come down to it, then you can spend all your energy pressing, which is what you wanna do, because that is partially the, the hardest part of the movement. Okay, so next up we have Desi Ziz, but here we, I can't really say much, because here we got a front on angle, and he's talking to his mates, I think he says, oh, I gotta do this clip quickly for this guy and send it to him, but there's not much I can see, because it's front angle, it looks like he's doing a public straddle punch, which is kinda sick, but I mean, there's not much I can say. So guys, well, when you send in these clips, try and get them at a show shoulder angle pointing this way at your shoulder or even just side on and try and do it shirtless if you can. The other thing is, I mean, all I can kind of say is your feet look kind of high compared to your shoulders. So something's going on where your, your feet are higher than your shoulders. Again, it could be the camera angle, but I think your, your feet are just high. So bring those down, but I can't really say anything else to what's going on because I can't see. So guys, shirts off, good angle. Let me see the whole body, like not only your head and feet. And yeah, then I can make some comments. So on to the next one. So let's play this clip again. This is the same guy, Desi's is, and he's doing his front lever attempt. So uh, he swings up, does sort of like a, a pull up and then an ice cream maker, whatever you call these things, into the front lever. So that's the entry. And then what you can see here is his hips are a little low. Everything else is looking good, just his hips are a little low. So the one thing I'll mention is dragon flags. Dragon flags are gonna be your best friend if your hips are getting low. That's the main thing, dragon flags, inverted deadlifts, and just really getting good with bands at squeezing your glutes. If you use bands and keep your glutes relaxed and don't have any core engagement, when you do your attempts, it might look a bit like that. So make sure when you're, you're doing your banded holds that you are squeezing your glutes and thrusting your hips up as much as you can as if you're finishing a deadlift because as you can see here that's what's going on as well as just increasing your lat strength so just get stronger lats just get stronger in general dragon flags stronger lats and you can try some other exercises like inverted deadlifts and things like that that can also help